I'm Ojibwe, Cree, Lakota, and Dakota. I'm Native American. I'm Lakota, Nakota, and Ojibwe, and I'm going to be signing up with White Earth. I'm adopted from Guatemala. So my family um, really supports my culture and stuff. When I was little, they had me go to camps and stuff where I'd be surrounded by other Hispanic and indi indigenous people. My dad is Native American and my mom is white. Languages that my tribe speaks is Ho-Chunk and I'm a part of Creek Nation. Native American Heritage Month means to me just basically like we finally got the respect that we like needed. Uh, it means a lot to me and my elders, especially to them because we're getting like the respect and recognition that we deserve. So I try my best to preserve my heritage by keeping my hair long too. So it's uh, the reason my hair is so long and my, the way my parents described it is uh, basically it's our way of saying that we're still here without having to speak it, you know. Every culture has their strengths and differences and it's very important that every culture learns about those strengths so we can help support and celebrate them. I did a project at Eastridge with the 11 indigenous flags. So my grandma made this because I was going to do a ceremony and blessing. So she made this for that. My um, dad passed um, 2019. And ever since then, I've had um, a shirt with him on it. And I would smoke sage on it. Native Americans thought that it's used for um, blessing you. The Great Spirit says everything to us is um, like a relative, like trees, everything around us is relative to us. So we try our best to bless anything. It's a large uh, misunderstanding that like powwows or some ceremony or all that, when it's, it's really a celebration, you know, anybody can go, you know, anybody can gather around, watch, you know, learn. My family, so the Hunter family, we danced to the Hunter song that was made for us. Cause like in our community, my choka is a really big deal. I got to dance that song for the first time this summer, which was really cool. So I was really excited. As a youth, you should acknowledge your elders and respect them because the stories and the, the trauma or the stuff that they have been through, it's like they want to pass all the knowledge down to us when we reach a certain age. So our healthcare is really bad. Out of 400 people, there's like 20 Native American doctors. I've always wanted to be a doctor, but like now with that like percentage, I don't know, it kind of makes me want to do it more. As a family, just like as a community, we're just really loving. I wish that people knew that there are a bunch of different tribes and that we all speak different languages and all have different stories. We don't all represent one part of indigenous people and that we shouldn't all be grouped together. Our community is so great just because we have so many traditions and like backgrounds. We still practice stuff that we did thousands of years ago and it hasn't changed. It's really important to donate to the American Indian College Fund.